the monarch's staff presents, which are usually a book token and a Christmas pudding, set her back a staggering £20. In the past the Queen has been able to wander around Harrods at her leisure picking out gifts for her family and friends, but security restrictions now mean she does her shopping on the internet with the help of her personal assistant. The royal family tends to open presents together at tea time on Christmas Eve at the Queen's estate in Sandringham, which is in Norfolk, they are well known for exchanging cheap joke presents, for example Prince Harry reportedly gave the Queen a shower cap in 2014, which said ain't life a be. Another year, Princess Ian apparently once got Prince Charles a leather toilet seat that he adores so much he even takes it with him on holiday and royal tours. Princess Diana was left embarrassed at her first royal family Christmas in Sandringham in 1981 when she tried to impress the royal family with expensive gifts such as cashmere scarves. Buckingham Palace starts organizing Christmas very early and the chief housekeeper emails staff before Easter regarding whether they would like to receive a gift voucher or a book voucher from the Queen for Christmas. The week before Christmas, the staff received their presents from the Queen in one of the palace's state apartments. The Queen and Prince Philip send around 850 Christmas cards to various heads of states, as well as other world leaders. The Queen enjoys spending the festive period in Sandringham and gives strict orders to members of the family about when they should turn up which is normally on Christmas Eve, the nonagenarian will deliver her 66th Christmas message to the world on Christmas Day, former employee of the royal household, Alexandra Messervi, said on the Yahoo News series, The Royal Box, that Christmas at Sandringham is a fun affair, she said. They enjoy a bit of a giggle, they have a tremendous sense of humor, they're great fans of charades. The 92-year-old will stay in Sandringham until the first week of February and will insist the Christmas decorations remain in